right, welcome back. I still kind of suck at this game, but I'm going to give it my best. I'm Jump. And I'm Dodge, and hey. you don't suck at this game. Yeah, this the other day I was like, man, you're so good at this game. No, but it's because I wasn't being recorded. <laughs> and now I'm just a little bit more garbage. Whenever, than... whenever you... If you really want to find out if you're good at something, put yourself in front of a camera. And then tell me that you're good at that thing. Like, it works for everything. You think you're a good actor? Let me let me just film you, and then we'll just see how good of an actor you are. I've tried doing that, and it's you it's painfully embarrassing. You think you're a good you think you're a good drawer? Let me uh, put you behind a camera, and we'll see how good at drawing you are. Yeah, so one of those live uh, drawing. Um... Oh, that'd be terrifying. That'd be absolutely good. horrible. That'd be horseshit through and through. Um, um, <laughs> Hi, um, how's it going? Hey. I'm pretty sure those people who who uh, live draw aren't actually live drawing. They're just recording over a drawing that they previously did. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Sometimes they'll say something and they'll respond to what they said in real time. So. Oh yeah, uh, like for the streams. So. Yeah, those will. Like, no, not those live streams. people are gods. I don't, no, not for live streams. We were just watching Drafty Break, and I'm pretty sure that's done live. Oh, okay. It's like a Let's Play. They just comment on whatever they're drawing, and um, they really do shape. Well, okay. well I've seen, there, oh, but hey. there's been, Twitch has also had, like, this sort of, um, sort of group of people who do live drawings on Ooh. Twitch. Splicing scroungers like, like having a sixth sense, you'll spot things you'd otherwise miss and discover things you'd otherwise leave behind. With scounger, scrounger, scrounger, you'll yes. swear you have x-ray vision. Great. Wow. Okay. I I meant to shoot him, not shoot him. <laughs> Sorry. Meant... There's a mistake. Sorry, wrong camera. <laughs> hey Johnny, look at my new camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, this not the camera. <laughs> Just Bugs Bunny much and I can't say that ain't no camera. <laughs> That's why I love ASDF so much. It's just Looney Tunes. Oh, it's, yeah. It's Looney Tunes. <laughs> it is. It's so great. You know, when the formula still works after, like, what, 60 years, you fucking go with it. Yeah. That's just comedy. You know, you take somebody else's idea, fucking run with it. <laughs> Claim it as your own. Columbus the fuck out of it. And wrap it up in a tight little package. Is this the right way? I feel like I missed something. Uh, Put okay. Call of Duty on the front and call it your own. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been beating up on Call of Duty. What's like Call of Duty? Lot. Call of Duty's like copying World War II, I guess. Uh, what was the fr um Medal of Honor? That's oh, right. That's right. Medal of, it was Medal wow, of, of Honor. Medal of Honor. And then Call of Duty took over. Uh. And picture, that's right? All. That's how it went down, right? I don't know. Lots of things went down, man. I was, I was a kid. I didn't necessarily, um, I didn't necessarily follow that stuff properly, but I think that's what happened. I think uh, that's precisely what happened. I think everything I you said was correct. I always preferred Call of Duty. I always preferred. Uh, that Metal was a PC of game, Honor. wasn't it? Wait, yeah. wait, Metal of Honor. What, what console was that on? PlayStation. Really? Yeah. Oh, I never played it. Yeah. Although that wasn't my thing, I was really into like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. Uh, I wasn't. I, I didn't want anything that looked like real life. I wanted something that was just fantasy. Uh, it's like I think I explained to you before. Like when I'm playing an RPG and I have to choose the uh, choose the sex of my character, I'll usually choose female, just because I want something that's different from real life. Yeah. Yeah, I can get that. So I want as much of an escape. That's why I love playing as Batman, the Arkham games. Just Batman. It's fucking sweet. You love play feeling like you're Batman. But then I watch like. I watch like Mar uh, Modern Warfare or Call of Duty. I'm like, well, I could do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's totally me. That's not. That's not that's fictional enough. <laughs> oh yeah, this is so boring to me. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh what? Uh, another war? What? Uh, I, I have don't nothing. Know. I, I, go I enjoy. I'm in a shit spot. I right enjoy now. Call of Duty for uh, zombies, and that's about the only thing I enjoy Call of Duty for. Is the zombie modes security? Bonus and I mode. really need to stop doing this, where I'll buy the entire game, which is the only way I can do this. What? Wait, I'll what? buy the entire game of of uh, Call of Duty just so I can play zombies, which in retrospect is just a waste of money. Don't they sell zo zombies separately, anyways? No. They oh don't. wow. They used to, 
and then they started to sell them. They realized that they could make more money. I was about to say they realized that their <laughs> source of revenue would increase exponentially if they, they just kind if of they just packaged it all into one game. Ah. And that's why all of their that's why all of their expansion packs are also bullshit because like it's like oh with every single expansion pass it's going to come out with another thing of zombies but it's only going to come out with no, one new zombie map compared to four new you know uh multiplayer maps only one new zombie map though and it's 30 bucks 30 bones it's damn just, it's just bullshit um uh, i'm a little wait bitter. what the hell i think oh can, it's a splicer cool i think you guys can tell i'm a little bitter come on camera thank you and but i'm like that's again then again that's the only thing i like about uh, if I if I want to play a zombie game, I'll just play it. I should just play a different game. Like what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know any other games that do zombies as hmm as well. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking now. I mean, some people would argue this is a type of zombie game because they're all crazy and irrational killers. Yeah, but they Leave do have some alone. sort of intelligence. So. Leave me alone. I hate you and nobody likes they don't, you. They do have some sort of intelligence and have some sort of strategy. It's not just a huge swarm of zombies. Not exactly a huge swarm of zombies, but kind of similar-ish. Mm, you mostly fight them one-on-one, -on -one, though. Oh, well, it, it'll crowd you eventually. Well, what the fuck is this? Like what the hell on, is this? Three-on-one. Oh, I can sneak up on characters and whack them with my, uh, my wrench. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I really wish I didn't destroy that turret a long time ago. Oh, it was giving you shit. It was. It was giving you shit, and I was tired of its shit. And so, I was tired of putting up with it. <laughs> hey, open up! Hey, I'm tired of the shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can yep. you? Can you? We stop agree. Stop this shit, Let's please. go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Hate you. Hate you. Hate you and your face. And your face. You're stupid. Everyone Everything thinks so. Everything about your face. Everyone says so. Nobody likes you. <laughs> you know, we all talk shit about you when you're not here. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Which, if you think about that phrase, just Makes sounds... Makes no fucking sense. <laughs> it sounds painful as shit. And it, how is that supposed to help your eyesight whatsoever? Yeah, Andrew Ryan. I feel like you know this. <laughs> I feel like you're not even that real. Okay, so this... <gasps> this kind of sucks. This uh, is not so the most sorry favorable about place that, to be everyone. in. Uh, this is Ugh. this is a boss fight, and I hope you're all ready for this. I am not ready for oh, this. Oh crap! I was hoping at least one of us would be. <laughs> okay. So I have a couple of minutes to establish some type of security system. Do you? More or less. Okay. I want to see this. I want to see this happen. I've been getting pretty darn good. If I just don't lose my cursor for no reason. Yeah, that, that's harder than it sounds sometimes. Well, it, it's it only flashes white. I I weirdly have a hard time uh, comprehending it. Oh, that's because white it's it's not that great of a it's it's not it's even, not a good highlighter for sure. It's not even highlighted or bold or uh, anything. It's just kind of what else might be. Uh, and it's not even white. It's like sort of just gray. So it's like hard to see sometimes. Oh, whoa, that's a rabbit trail. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, there it goes. Don't lose and yourself. That, and there's, because there's also reflections on, like, the pipes and shit, so there's lots of other white reflection reflecting areas, so. Yeah. Totally. And there it goes. And boom goes the dynamite. That'll save me from that. I feel so bad for boom goes the dynamite guy, because I totally relate to him. Have you ever watched that video, like, all the way through? Who? Boom goes the dynamite guy. Uh, Did you not know that was a viral video? Uh. Oh, uh, Kenny. Okay, so you'll... Uh, nope. You'll... <laughs> okay. Um, basically, it's just a sports announcer guy, br a kid brand new to the gig, and he screws up like once. You can tell he's nervous, and he just looks off the screen. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
And then, like, he kind of bounces back. He does some play-by-play -play commentary, and he's still kind of stuttering. And at one point, he's like, and then Justin throws it to Gary, and then boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Just out of a spur. He sinks three points, and boom goes the dynamite. That's it. Oh. Yeah. What's the big deal with that? It was just like this really funny bit of, again, improv. It was very genuine. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, he was so nervous the entire time, and he finally said something like kind of sports announcer -y. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, being a sports announcer is fucking difficult. Oh, yeah. Oh, Andy, really and I, Andy and I did it for a little bit back in high school. Oh, bullshit. Oh. I mean, what Kenny said was completely true, but damn. <laughs> yeah, back in high school. Um... We used to announce for our high school basketball games. It was cool. It was um, fun. We weren't jocks by any stretch of the imagination, but we've always been kind of sort of entertainers. Uh, I was gonna say entertainers in general because oh, yeah. like entertainers. We like our sound of our voices, and we'll we'll fucking announce scores and players' names. <clears throat> I'll say boom shakalaka like the Blazer Nation guy. No big deal. Boom Whatever. shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Great. Yeah, it was, was fun. Awesome. It was, it was fun. It was goofy more than anything. And, and, and what was cool is that we got to pick the music. Oh, yeah. People <laughs> listened to our super rad uh, Christian rock. Yeah, they did. And every once in a while, we'd slip in a metal song, and there was nothing they could do about it. Nope. It was like the period. It was like we could be somewhat, uh, somewhat rebellious in our own way. Take some pictures. Like, we weren't really super rebels, but it, that was sort of our way of being rebellious. It, w it was more or less, without sounding too douchey, our pirate radio. Yes. We weren't supposed to play that metal music. I remember once, remember, uh, her name's Christina Johnson now, Christina, then Christina Brown. Yes. Yeah, I love, I love Jake and Christina. They're great. They're like the power couple in high school. Everyone's like, yep, they're going to get married. Then you know, they find pop the question. And we're like, yep, yep. the we universe is coming. Everything's in concordance with the ways of the universe. Okay. <laughs> the timeline is healed. They, they're just, they're just the quintessential couple that gave everyone hope in high school. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, everyone knew it was coming and they were going to be perfect. Did I win? Oh. And I thought I was gonna. I thought I had that with my high school girlfriend. We all did. But Everybody thinks. Truth so. is, that rarely ever happens. Okay, high schoolers out there, if you're listening to this, if you're li if you're cool enough to listen to this, listen to me now. Did you just say cool enough? Yes. I don't think that's right. <laughs> huh, I really feel like that's misleading. <laughs> Anyways, go on. Listen to me now. It rarely ever works out that you're going to marry your high school sweetheart. I'm sorry. That's okay. The reason why it makes such a good story in movies is because it doesn't happen that often. Oh, That's yeah. why you see it in Disney movies is because it is an anomaly. That's why it makes it a good story. Yeah, and and it's like those kinds of oh, those money, kinds of money, stories, money. As rarely as they do ever happen, they give you hope. They they make you feel. Light, like you know, I see Miley Cyrus kissing that hunky dude. And I'm like, everything is gonna be okay in my life. Yeah, I'm going to find a totally hot girlfriend. <laughs> Which you will. I yeah. know someday. <laughs> yeah, I think. I'm gonna, at least that's what everyone keeps telling me. Also, don't what die. What the fuck just blew up? Uh, probably the bins full of oil. Bins full. No, of oil. the flammable substance. <laughs> what the are you gonna that do? Looked like exploding barrels. It was physics. Blah. <laughs> uh, fucking lost the staircase, which is how I progress through to the next level. Where the fuck is that staircase? That being said, uh, Miss it Buster's. It's not here, is it? Uh, Miss Buster's proves that. Um, fuck. That gas tanks don't explode. What? Yeah. What do they do? They just catch on fire. They just burn for a long time. They just burn for a long time. So in order for it to actually explode, they would actually have to like build up pressure, but all the pressure is being released through whatever holes in the barrel. Yeah, exactly. Okay. No, I th I think I sort of knew that. It it's one of those facts. Not that surprised. even with like. Incentive. Fuck! I upgrade the wrong. Ah, this is fine. They whatever. even uh, they even like shot uh, gasoline bar uh, gas tanks with like. Um, a bazooka. No, with uh, incendiary rounds, would which it are just rounds that are that light on fire as they're traveling through the air. 
so, but like, if you do shoot with a bazooka, will it explode? Uh, well, yeah, because it's gonna explode because it's a bazooka. Okay, good. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm not completely Cause bad. Because you're, you're using one explosion to start another explosion. Okay, good. So those physics do still work. <laughs> Got it. But if you try to start an explosion without an initial explosion, it's not gonna work. Or at least I don't think so. <laughs> so if I shoot this with a roman candle, will it explode? Maybe. Man, we were so fucking irresponsible with those <laughs> very clearly illegal fireworks. I'm not just talking about roman candles, but we did some stupid shit with roman candles. We yeah, had... we're going to talk about what exactly stupid shit we did with roman candles, I think, in the next episode, right? Yeah, it'll kind of be like a PSA, except we're going to say how awesome it all was. <laughs> and then we're going to tell you not how to do... you should never ever do it <laughs> all right thanks everyone for watching we'll see you tomorrow bye